Hey guys, this is Summer Thomas Brown Ward here, and welcome to another episode of Thomas and Friends Minutes. This is where I take a look at a Thomas and Friends mini toy that I have recently collected and compare it to a mini to a many similar well, to this one. With that said, let's take a look at my next mini. It's Racing Gordon! The Express Engine is in Racing Fever today! Very racing! So, let's take a closer look at it! Okay, so, here's the Racing Gordon that I got a few days ago. Uh, actually, it was last weekend. My, uh... Um, my stepmother got it for me, along with, uh, three others. Actually, here's the special thing about this toy. It's actually, it's actually belonging with two other minis from a special pack that I got. And I'll just, uh, show you that pack right now. Uh, here's what it is. Uh, one of those extra mini packs. And I believe this one was the three pack one one that was up with all the other three mini packs along with the along with the other packs that were in the mini items that you could get. But anyway, uh, the first one, as you can see, was uh, Racing Gordon, along with two others, which I'll cover up in the next two episodes. So the first thing you'll notice about Racing Gordon is that he's decorated to look like a racing car, or whatever racing thing it is. And from what I can gather, uh, how they, how they made Gordon like a racing type of engine is actually pretty good. You can see all the really stripy red lines to indicate that it's racing, and the whiteness. It's very nice, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, um... And if we look, so we can just see the sides, and the other sides, and they're like nice, and look, there's a, well, Gordon was already, already had so much blood in him before, but now he's got like, one all over him, like red stripes all over his boiler, which is pretty cool. And look at this, it looks like he's wearing, it looks like he's wearing like a, like a racing shirt. Which is kind of what they were going for. So, apart from that, he kind of just looks the same as what you'd expect Gordon to be. Like, you can see his CGI face. Uh, and his short funnel. Because, you know, like Henry, he's got a short funnel. And, um... Yeah, he's, uh... He's got, like, uh... A coal bunker. Yeah, um, oh look, this one's really, really boxy-like. Let's see if we can turn it here, yep. It's really boxy-like, and so is the other cold bunker, if we go to this side. Yeah, it looks good. And the red, the red couplings still look the same, with the back and the front coupling. That's really circular-shaped, looks good. And so do the wheels. The wheels look good too, like, uh, you know, um... Like how you would expect Gordon's wheels to look like. Along with his number four, if you see there, along with that red thing above his bunker, it looks like the number four you would actually see on Gordon. And the gears actually look the same too. The only, so it's basically Gordon. The only difference is he looks like a racing car, which is pretty much the focus of the episode. So yeah, um, let's see if he moves pretty well. Yep, she moves pretty well. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's, uh, that's Racing Gordon. Hope you liked it. And that was my review on Racing Gordon. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and here's to hoping I'll be able to make more of these in the future. Thanks for watching, everybody, and if you have any criticism or any advice on how I can improve on my videos in the near future, then feel free to write in the comment section below. 
And if you want to keep up to date with my shows and videos coming out, then feel free to click on that subscribe button. With that said, Gordon has a race to run.